today we're in Round Top, Texas, and we're gonna dine at the Royer Cafe. This is a cafe that is the cat's meow of Round Top, population 90. This is the home of Round Top, Texas, where they have a lot of antique shows every year, so you don't wanna miss that. But today, we're more interested in having something great to eat. This is a fabulous restaurant. It looks like a honky-tonk, but don't be fooled. It's really good. So come to Round Top, come to Royer's to eat. And here we are, Oak Hill Ranch, at the chicken. You call this a hut, a shed? Chicken hat, shack. Chicken shack. Master McDowell is going to inspire the chickens this morning. We got ready. Okay. And then the last one I bought was just a mix of exotic eggs. <clears throat> the top or bottom or in the end? Oh, okay, I see them all now. Here's three. And three more. Half dozen. And <laughs> one makes seven. That's right, pretty good one crop. behind you. Box behind you. I might ask four more. This must be a community nest. They only it lay is. in this thing. Right. In this one spot. Why is that, Bob? I don't know. They just get like three or four nests and then they just all, they all go, go to the those. same spot. Right. That's funny how they all nest in one spot here. Mm -hmm. This is a pretty good uh, right. crop this morning. Mm -hmm. Round Top Festival Institute. And a little botanical garden unto itself. Here we're on the outside grounds of the chapel. The trumpet you hear in the background is a musician practicing his trade outside. You mind if I ask you some questions? Uh, no, not at all. Okay. Yeah, how are you today? I'm doing fine. Hi, I'm Bodie Pendus. Bodie, very nice to meet you. I'm Daniel. Daniel, good to see yeah. you. Likewise. So tell me what you do here. Yeah, I'm uh, one of the trumpet fellows along with uh, Stephen Cook here. Hey, nice um, Stephen, come on over. <laughs> yeah, come on, let's, let's do this together. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're playing uh, trumpet with the Texas Festival Orchestra here at Festival Hill. Um, it's a lot of fun, a lot of music, uh, a lot of master classes and lessons, but we're just being sponges for the whole experience and um, really just going all into the professional music thing. So so how do you get selected to come here? Uh, you just make a tape and submit an audition. So for us it was, um, we had to submit a recording of about five excerpts and a solo piece that was prepared. Mm -hmm. um, all one take, uh, so very much like an orchestral audition, but recorded and so how long is your stay here? Uh, about, about six weeks, right? And then you give concert each weekend? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah, there's a big orchestral concert every weekend, and um, there's also various chamber groups that we're a part of that have 
concerts throughout the week. What do you think about this performance hall out here in the middle of nowhere? Oh, it's gorgeous. It's amazing. <laughs> and just the level of detail that they took to, to create the atmosphere of the concert hall with you know, the selection of the particular wood, the way they created the, you know, the, uh, just, the chairs are all wood, so all the sound can just surround the audience and really just make it a great experience, you know, so it's, it's really a, a treat to be able to play in such a fine place. Yeah, it's crazy because like you look in the concert hall, you look out there from the orchestra side and everything's all dark, but um, you get closer to the walls and you start to walk around the place, you realize just how much detail is really put in to everything. Like yeah. the railings all have specific designs and um, there's like diamonds like all over the place, just wooden triangles, um, but it's, it's incredible the amount of detail in it. Like I still find something new just walking in every day and Absolutely. rehearsing with the orchestra. The center round top, this tree is 500 years old. So I've been told, pretty massive. Welcome to Townsend Provisions, home of vintage foods, antiques, home goods, and more. And I'm Ryan, and you'll meet Nick on Inside. Here we're going in, Townsend Provisions. Uh, my favorite right now is that Cajun fried shrimp. Which you might say is Texas eclectic. <laughs> and here's Nick. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> All right, I show, I'm showing Bob here reading the book. This is the book, The Last Stop, and here is the author. Ryan, <laughs> tell us about your book. Uh, the Last Stop is the culmination of about seven years of road trips. The first three years, my mom and I traveled all over the country uh, shooting uh, vanishing rest stops. And uh, about the last three years, when I met Nick, uh, we finished up the project, and I ended up publishing... Uh, this book, uh, Rest Stops, all over the country, did about 21 states, and they um, are all vanishing all across the country. So I wanted to capture them before they were lost forever. So we carry this book here. Today I'm here with Nick of Townsend Provisions in Round Top, Texas. And Nick has this wonderful eclectic store, and they specialize in vintage boots. Nick? How the dickens did you get started in the vintage boots? <laughs> Basically, about 10, 12 years ago, my mom started picking up just old boots, and my stepdad is a hobby. Okay. Um, they just started collecting, they would just set them on the porch, and they finally got so, or in the house, and they finally got so many, they were like, we need to sell some of these things. Okay. Um, and they just did, and let them drive around Texas, and see a bunch of antique malls, and uh, little shops, and stuff like that. And uh, they are just doing it for fun. Like I said, they got so many that they had to start selling them off, and they realized we can make a little money doing this and okay. fund our Texas adventures. Um, kind of fell in love with the town, and then she was, she was, uh, they asked her if she wanted to take one of the buildings in the block, and she said, okay. So pretty much that. So this be, is in the downtown Round Top. Pretty much, this is the down. You know, it's only one square mile here. So if you'll notice on the next ad, it says Round Top population 90. <laughs> That's correct. There's only 90 permanent residents. That's true. A lot of seasonal people, a lot of people come out here for the weekend. Well, since they're vintage boots, the sizes are kind of all over the place. Ah, I see. Some are more broken in, some aren't. You know, the brands are all different too. So it's like, we want you to wear them all the time. We don't want you to just okay. put them on here in your closet because they're too tight or something like sure. that. So, um, so yeah, we prefer people to come try them on and make sure they work. You know, it's not just the boots. We have a ton of antiques that we have. So we have a lot of, you know, Americana, but we also love the Southwest. So then we also, we have a passion for local artisans or American okay. made. So if you like our video from Round Top, Texas, be sure and give us a thumbs up. Come back and see us real soon.